Hi guys, look, it's another vlog. It's been approximately 7,000 years since I filmed the vlog, so here we go. So we're leaving for Mexico in a few days and I have a lot of errands to run before we leave because I also still need to pack, go to Michael's, get some stuff to bring on the trip like um, little travel shampoos and conditioners and body wash and trash bags and I also need to clean the house because I am the type of person where if my house is not clean, when I get home from a long trip, I get very anxious, like the anxiety is like triggered by the messy house. So I also need to clean the kitchen, the basement, and vacuum everywhere because we have three pets now. Here's one. Little Parker. He's stalking the weenie. <laughs> this is probably going to be very strange since it's been so long since I've vlogged, but let's just go get some stuff done. Look at how depressed he looks. <laughs> It's a rainy day, so he can't be outside right now. Look at all his toys everywhere. But yeah, first thing I'm gonna do, gotta do all these dishes because we cannot have any dishes when we get home. And then I'm just gonna tidy up the counters and the table, and then we'll be good in this room. You guys, I've never met a cat so interested in a dishwasher. Like, look at him. He was just standing on the silverware rack. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, that was so cute. Also, because you guys don't know, Christine and I had our appointment with our IUI doctor, and we talked a lot about our options and what we wanted to do. Um, I honestly went into the appointment with the mindset that we would be jumping straight to IVF. Christina more had the mindset like maybe we could try one more IUI, maybe not, like let's see what they have to say. And it ended up that we decided that we're going to do one more IUI, which will be our third, actual, will be our fourth cycle because I missed the first one because of my ovulation, but our third actual procedure. But this time we're going to change it up. Instead of doing letrozole, we're going to do Clomid. So I'm on cycle day three now, so I'm going to start the Clomid. Um, I have heard, through, like in the fertility groups I'm in, that the symptoms can be a little bit stronger with Clomid than on letrozole. On letrozole, I didn't really have any other than I was a little irritable and I had like headaches, very small headaches. Um, but this, like they say, hot flashes and headaches and extreme moodiness and bloating. And I'm like, oh, hopefully it's not that bad. Hopefully this is the only cycle I have to do. If this cycle doesn't work, we are going to be moving on to IVF, which is like the big dog. Do you see this cat? In the dishwasher. And then there's a wiener dog licking the dirty dishes. Can, can we not? Um, Winnie, can you not please? Thanks. Closed. <laughs> Anyways, before I forget, I'm gonna take Clomid because you take on day three through seven. So today will be my first day. Let's hope I'm not crazy, especially because I'm gonna be in Mexico when I'm on it. Okay guys, so I'll clean other than the stuff I need to bring to Mexico and some paperwork that I have to take care of before we leave, but so satisfying. How sweet is this kitten? He's so sweet. I love him so much. He's gotten so snuggly in the last few days. He'll just like sit with us and sleep in our laps, like obviously not during the day, but in the evening. He's so cuddly. All right, now that the kitchen is clean, I'm going to go to Michael's and pick up an order that I placed online, and then I'll show you guys the awesome stuff that I got. So let's go. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye, be a good boy. Okay, so I just picked up the stuff from Michael's. I wanted to show you guys what I got. 
The first thing that I got is some beautiful sunflowers. I'm gonna do a DIY project with this uh, in the next couple of weeks, probably after we get back. Why is the lighting so terrible? I'm so sorry. Here we go, it's better. Okay, flowers. They were on clearance, so of course I am. <laughs> okay, you guys, it is literally the beginning of August and I'm already like craving fall so i was like what can i do to make that feel a little bit easier because it's not coming for like two more months so i ordered a bunch of fall candles because i'm obsessed with fall scents year round so i ran out and here we are so okay the first one i got is butterscotch spice which these were each 333 a piece and they're huge they're yankee candle size so i was like yes please and then this one is ginger cookie sandalwood and vanilla and then the last one that i got is probably going to be my favorite pumpkin donut oh my god okay let's just do a sniff test right now so we got the ginger cookie oh i want i want fall i want winter i want christmas like why 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 okay that one is solid i'd rate that like an eight on the scent scale i'm a candle snob you guys which is why i love michael's because they're super cheap but they're really good i love bath and body works some of the fall scents but you have to be really careful about when they go on sale and i was too impatient for that so okay butterscotch spice still good not not like amazing but i would definitely light it it wouldn't be like my star scent i'd probably give that one like a five or a six but it's not bad it didn't automatically make me want to barf which half the candles in the world do sandalwood and vanilla this is interesting this isn't i wouldn't really describe this as a fall scent more of like a summer scent so i guess this will be good to use and then i'll roll into the other ones which usually guys i'm so crazy that i light a different one in every single room of the house and it all just comes together in one beautiful bakery scent but this one's nice it's like clean Christina will love this. She loves clean scents, but I hate like linen candles and I just don't prefer them. I like food smells. <laughs> That's pretty good. Pretty good. I'd give this one a seven. Um, surprisingly, actually, this one is definitely my top, the butterscotch spike. No, not the butterscotch, the cookie one, the ginger cookie. That one was really good, which the pumpkin one's good too, but <sighs> Oh my gosh, I wanna go home and light these right now, but I also forgot I have more errands to run to get the things that we need. So I think I'm gonna run to Target and pick those up because they have a lot of the, sorry, there's a car that just pulled in beside me and I feel really awkward. Did you see her? <gasps> Did you see her walk by? Um, anyways, I'm probably gonna run to Target because I like their um, travel choices. Like I love their shampoos and conditioners. So I'm gonna go there and I think I should be able to get everything there. Okay guys, so I got everything I needed at Target. I got shampoo, body wash, um, dry shampoo. I got gallon size Ziploc bags and unscented trash bags to put our laundry in when we are coming home. I gotta do some homework as well, so can't wait for that. Hello. Uh, hi. What are you doing? I was uh, putting my belly on this to flatten it out. Oh man, I missed that part. Yeah, and what he was trying to make out with me, so. Oh. Yeah. What you packing for? Mako. Yes, girl. I'm kind of scared. Why? I don't want to get kidnapped. We got over here, we got sunscreens, more clothes, catchphrase, it's a necessity, bathroom stuff. We got more beach stuff, my passports, and my little... Ooh, Christina got me this, uh, what's this called? Fanny pack? And it fits a passport perfectly, so that's gonna go in there. And this little floppy frisbee. And, and there's a ball water shoes. Frisbee. And a ball. Yeah. Oh, right, right, right. There it is. Where'd you go? Oh, <laughs> I was getting stuff out of the bag, and I just feel these little paws. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you put a hole in my vacuum seal bag last night because he was like, ooh, fat! <laughs> Ooh, 
If you guys were wondering what I'm eating for dinner tonight, they are having pesto pasta with potatoes and green beans and a baby bell. That's what I had. I made myself some turkey burgers with cheese, no bun, and uh, some pinto beans. I couldn't see your face that whole time. I think my face when I shove this in my mouth. Get on the spoon! <laughs> Gosh, baby. <laughs> Right, guys, we're gonna test Christina's knowledge of candles. You're gonna think I cheated because I'm gonna be so good at this. She's not. She hasn't seen what they are. Okay, I'm gonna show you first. Definitely like cinnamon something. Yeah, strong cinnamon. Something cinnamon. Do you have a guess? Wait, hang on. Still smelling my chocolate on a day. <laughs> All right. Can't say I really smell pumpkin cinnamon, but. Maybe, I say pumpkin cinnamon. Final answer, ginger cookie. Anyway, she thought it was cinnamon and it was ginger cookie, which is decently close. I'm gonna back this up. So does ginger smell like cinnamon? Because it was straight cinnamon smell. But I think you smelled like spices, like uh, baking no. spices. Okay. I smelled cinnamon. That's a big X right there. Okay, next. Come on, we need to look at the ingredients in a ginger cookie and see if cinnamon's in there with the I, I think it is. Okay, then I'm not a big X. I'm like okay. part of an X. Next one. At the bottom. Mmm. Oh. Uh, Do you need some coffee beans? Probably. No. Jesus! <gasps> Take a wild guess. Can I taste it? No. <laughs> okay, if you want to taste it, what is it? I don't, I, I, when I'm inhaling, I'm still smelling a hint of cinnamon. Let me tell you. Yeah. Pumpkin donut. It smells nothing like pumpkin or donut. Oh, it smells so good. This one's actually my favorite. Oh, like burn it? I don't know. I'll... Apple pie or something? No. <laughs> Mango. Is it like, is it strawberry something? No. Rhubarb cake. <laughs> Butterscotch spice. They smell nothing like what they're said they, they are. There we go. All right, last one. Mm. Did I not tell you guys she would like this one? This one's nice, it's like clean. Christina will love this. It smells like cologne, so it smells delicious. It's like a forest or tree or something. I'm yeah, high. actually really close. Sandalwood and vanilla. You got one out of four. You got an F minus minus. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so rate them on the scale. Number one. No, no, like how, like one through ten. How much you like each one? Oh, this one's like a nine. Okay. Literally. Smell this butterscotch. Didn't smell anything like butterscotch. Kind of reminds me of your protein. Oh, you better hurry up. The camera's gonna die. Come okay. Rate it. I don't know. Hang on. I guess butterscotch is like a four. I don't really care for it. It's not bad. Well, I give okay, it a hurry up. A five. Okay. I let me talk in this video. It's dying. I, this one doesn't have a strong smell, so I give it like a two. Okay. But I give it a four because it doesn't stink, but it's not strong. I can't even tell you what it is. This. Mm. Ugh. A one. It's awful. Terrible. All right. Well, there you have it. I told you I like food smells. She likes clean smells. So hello for the win. Tell them good night. Good night. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in our next vlog. Maybe it'll be in Mexico. Woo!